So, today we're going to talk about Meet Me, OnlyFans, and other things that shouldn't be talked on you. Before I dig into that, I was thinking that maybe I should do a product list of the things I'm going to use, because I kind of want to fight the whole drugstore is bad, which I know a lot of people do, but I quite like mixing both drugstore and high end well, high-end when I have the money to do it. So anyway. My brows are now courtesy of Maybelline's Tattoo Brow. I applied it yesterday for a trial amount, so I'm going to see how it works. And then I'm going to apply it again, and then I'm going to have pretty brows. Because I've been on this sort of adventure of trying to find the perfect brows. And uh, I kind of got tired of pencil, and I wanted them to be bushier and etc. So, Essence Mascara, because I only trust drugstore mascara. Kiko Lipstick. NYX Gloss. Kiko Liquid Lip. And for eyeshadows, the famous Riviera palette. So, it all kind of started with the fact that I've been on dating apps for many, many years now. Uh, I've been on Grindr for god knows how many. First I started trolling, then I got into it. I've, I've had more Grindr success stories than like on any other app. And like if, if you ask me, Grindr is your place to go rather than anywhere else. But I kind of decided the thing with Meet Me and everything, why I even bother to go there? was the mere fact that I think, as you may have noticed, I really enjoy photography and Instagram doesn't allow nude photography at all. So I kind of was like, okay, well, I can expose myself and I can get paid. Cool. Whatever. So I tried to market it as more pornography rather than art, which was, well, I don't know. I tried both ways. I tried to advertise it as art, tried to advertise it as porn, so far nothing really worked. So this is more of an update and hopefully future me understands how to do it. But I kind of really wanted to see how it would work, I wanted to try the platform, wanted to get paid, because transitioning isn't cheap and, you know, a family can turn your back. Can turn, can turn their back on you anytime, so. So pretty much I decided to go on that venture, but I was pretty much not equipped, and I was talking to one of the people who I talked to, and uh, he was like, try meet me. Oh my god. That was a proper disaster. So I tried to do meet me, like just to talk to people, to advertise, Yes, I got like about five friends or so, but I got zero subscribers. So I focused for days and days on Meet Me up to the point that my mental health went like shh, and I had a mania breakdown because of the exams. I was just overwhelmed by everything, to be honest. So what I did next was um, give up. <laughs> Not for real. I was like, okay, this isn't working, so I deleted it, and now I'm looking for other ways to do it. Because nude photography is something I'm interested in. And this is where I really have to mention that I... Oh, Christ, I got eyeshadow my eye. I'm so sorry. Anyway. So I've always admired Terry Richardson's work. And I was quite sad when you know, that scandal came out, or scandals rather, it was uh, scandal after scandal after scandal and my eyes still not recovering. So I was quite sad by the fact that, you know, that, that my favorite photographer was cancelled, he did shitty things, and etc. And then kind of everyone became super prudish. Which is really interesting to say because, so during my main episode, I ended up buying a Portuguese Vogue, and it was like full, full, full brimming with sex and stuff. And the issue was about sex. And 
I was pleasantly surprised. Like, obviously the work wasn't as brilliant as Terry's, but it was still pretty cool. So, I went ahead, I bought it, and I started doing collage, I started reading it, and I was really surprised because I'm quite used to, like, the American Vogue, which is super crude, and then the winter does a shit job with it. And uh, I'm talking about the woman's Vogue, just in case to clarify. Then uh, there's the British Vogue, which I used to enjoy when I was growing up. And that also kind of went downhill, I think. But in general, I think the fashion industry hasn't been doing that great of a job. So... I was really pleasantly surprised to buy it, because I really just bought it for the collage, and then it ends up having, like, articles which I'm interested in. I was like, what the fuck is happening? How did I not know this, you know? And... but I still ended up, like, shredding it to pieces to do collages and I'm also still thinking like what to do with the collages at the moment because after all uh, I want to read the articles but I was doing the collages really quickly so the problem is, is that you don't have an outlet to put your art if it's if it has a T you're out if it has a dick you're out and it's quite sad because it's a form of art expression. We, we should be allowed to express our bodies. And yeah, sure, there's kids. Well, put a warning. And it's not like the kids are not gonna stumble across porn if they, don't, if they want to. They're gonna hack into Pornhub and, and make it kids day for all I care. So I don't understand the whole prude uh, sort of obsession, if you must. So, my experience with Meet Me was pretty much guys telling me that they're not going to pay for porn, they're not interested in my new photography, that you can find it for free, and I was like, well, I'm a trans guy, I'm exposing my body, I'm trying to raise money for my transition. I would talk about it, anything, and nothing would work. Like, absolutely nothing worked. And then I got really sick of it, and I just deleted it. Because I was getting scams, I was getting like people who'd get me horny and then I would just bait, bite the bait. And in the end, I was like, okay, enough, you know? So I highly do not recommend Meet Me. And it's a bunch of rude people as well. So if you were to ask me, like, where can I date Grindr? Where can I fuck Grindr? It's always Grindr. And also, I think I mentioned this before, but. It's really important for you to understand uh, how the grinder works in your area because I've heard that in some places in the US it's real nasty. But I've lived, I've, I've traveled across different countries and grinder has been good. It depends on the location, but generally I'd say that it's quite good. But I think on the opposite, we should try to put ourselves out there. And I'm sorry, I did two squares while I was thinking how to conclude this. But we need to put ourselves out there, we need to be seen. Because if no one else is going to do it for us, no one else is interested in our visibility other than us ourselves, um, there's a lot of like people who don't want to be seen. So those which want to be seen, it's only up to you. And I think that might be a bit glitter. Oh well, looks like a fun shot. There, let's call it that. So, my point is, this was a video. This is an experience. I did everything I could. I'll be out there promoting my uh, new photography. I'll be out there repping trans people. I'll be out there doing what I normally do. And I wish you all a very, 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 very pleasant day. And I'm just going to finish my second eye. Do I have time for that? So be careful. Be cautious. Have fun. Do not try meet me. And you'll be absolutely good to go.